Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. Now in this video we are going to see how we can use Casio FX 991CW and Casio FX 570CW scientific calculator to use a spreadsheet with this calculator. I have a full three and a half hours video for this calculator that covers everything from beginning to end. The link to watch the video is below the video in the description or you can click now to watch it. You can have 45 rows of information in spreadsheet and five columns and the rows will be labeled from 1 to 45 and the columns will be from A to E. Each cell can accept up to 14 bytes and once you press EXE the value will be confirmed. Now let's see how we can type A, B or C on the screen. We press alpha and then a and the same way alpha would be this these golden colors or letters that you press with alpha and also if you want x and y and here the equal sign is in this in this key that is a and if i want to press and that's x and this to the screen and this cell is called a2 because from the top a and then two and this is called C1. And if you enter 7 plus 3, that's called constant. And you can enter also sine 30, for example, or A1 times 2. This A1 times 2 means value of A1 times 2. Let's now reset our calculator. So we have the same settings. Go settings, reset, initialize all, and yes. Now the calculator has been resetted. Now I'm on the home, if not, just, uh, uh, if you're not on the home, just press home, go to spreadsheet, and we have clear spreadsheet. Now, amount of memory is very important because if you fill up the spreadsheet, you will run out of memory. Press tool, go to available memory, so you can see the available memory, which is now fully available, 2380 bytes, and all clear to exit. This is all clear, and then I'm going to use EXE or equal. So this is equal or EXE. Now, example one, we are inputting this data, 7 times 5 into A for this, and then 7 times 6, and then for A3 here, we are going to enter A2 times A2 plus 7. The same way you can go for any of these cells, this is b1 and this is for example d4 and for the b1 we want to enter equal a1 plus 2 the difference is that this means grab the data and that's it but this means reference the data which means equal to a1 if you change a1 b1 will change because we have equal sign here and let's move the cursor to a1 to this spot the cursor is there if not we just move it and let's enter a1 7 times 5 7 times 5 and then press equal and then it goes to a2 7 times 6 and then equal and then go to a3 and then go to a3 now we are on a3 alpha 4 i typed a plus 7 and then equal now it says move to b1 so go to the right or b1 now i'm in b1 and we are entering equal sign shift this button to type equal and then alpha 4 a 1 plus 7 so it says get a1 plus 7 so that's 35 and it becomes 42 and the cell we can move to any cells like that and you can press ok to change it it allows you to change it you can go with the arrow left and right or you can use the delete this is the delete key or to exit from that cell just press this back or we can use this 
tool will well, allow the option including edit cell would allow you to do that. To exit from that, just press return. Now, if you want to change, for example, A2 to 13, go to A2, press OK, and then we can delete it and make 13. My cursor was at the beginning because of, in a previous operation it was at the beginning. And then press OK, and the value has changed. To change the cell formula, for example, in this case, press OK and you will have option to change it. I'm not going to do that. As I mentioned, to delete a cell value, just go to the cell and press this, which I just shown you. Now, example one, we want to set B2 equal A2 plus 7. So we are in B2, if not B2, and then shift equal we want a2 plus 7 a alpha 4 2 plus 7 plus equal so that is you can see a2 plus 7 something is called grab from cell so we want to go in b2 should be this value a2 plus 7 now let's see where well, i'm in a2, B2, I'm in B2. We want to move the B2 to C2. This is, let's say this is called grab and sell, grab from cell. We grab from B2, this value, and move it to C2. So I'm in B2, and then press tool, come down, it says copy, Okay, now it has been copied. It's just waiting for you. Move to C2, just next cell, and press OK. It has been pasted. Now we have to press all clear or return to exit. I'm pressing this so we can exit. Now, if we compare B2 to C2, if we go to B2, it's A2. Now, if C2 have been changed to B2, the reason for that is because this was relative. And this is was relative and we could protect it. Uh, we, we could protect it. I'm going to show you. Now let's move A1 to C3. Let's move to A1 and then tool. This time we're moving it. So select cut and paste and then C, that's 2, 3. We are on C3. Press OK. So this has been moved. Now let's use absolute reference because let's say let's change B2 to A dollar. We can put dollar that will be reference like a regular spreadsheet plus seven to make it okay. So now let's go to B2, B2 and press edit, select edit cell and bring the cursor between the A and 2 and press tool, uh, press catalog, spreadsheet, and we have dollar here. Now we got the dollar plus seven, press OK. So if I go up, now you will see it. Copy B2 to C2. We are in B2, press this, copy, and then go to C2, press OK, exit. Now, if you look at C2, it has been changed to B2. The reason for that is that A has been preserved. A has, has been changed because there was no uh, dollar in front of it, but two have been preserved because we put the dollar in front of it. So this was dollar two, and now here we have a dollar two. So that way, it did not change because of the dollar. To delete all cells, press this button and then go down until you see delete all and everything have been deleted. We can put in our cell minimum, maximum, mean. You can calculate minimum, maximum or mean. Let's input these data. Seven times five, I'm pressing equal, seven times six. And then alpha A2 plus 7 
and I'm going to be one alpha equal alpha four one plus seven and enter so we have the data now let's go to a four now here there is nothing and we want to type this equal sum a1 to a3 so press alpha equal so we have equal sign and then go to to this catalog spreadsheet and then down until you see sum now we got sum and then because we want a1 alpha a and then one now continue spreadsheet and then we bring colon and then alpha a and then three close it and exe now now as you can see we got the sum of the all cells which is 126 the same way you can do minimum maximum mean all other values we can do batch input of the same formula into series of cells here go to b1 for example and fill formula we are selecting a fill formula to fill all the column for us so go to tools and then fill formula and let's fill it like this 2a1 minus 3 we want to gra grab a1 multiply it by 2 and subtract 3 so from press ok and here 2 alpha a1 minus 3 and then press ok and b1 to b3 let's change it so b1 is ok i'm coming here no b1 delete so b1 and then delete 3 and press ok and after that after that just confirm and as you can see we have filled up this information from b1 to b3 and the formula has been already entered for us so we can check the values so input batch same constant before it was same formula now we want to bring same uh, constant regardless because if you see here this was formula we copied everything with a formula but now we are going with a constant go to c1 we are now in c1 and then press tool this time select fill value when you select fill value now press enter b1 alpha b1 times 3 and then press equal and in this case now c1 is okay i'm gonna change it to c3 and okay and confirm now we get just a value no formula in c but if i go here there is a formula with equal sign with numbers but this is just value the same way you can check the values we can have some settings for the app for example auto calculate if i press this tool you see here auto calc auto calc and you can set on off right now it's on because any value that you enter it will be reflected but if you set it to off then you, you it cannot work and if i go back you have to come back to this recalculate to do that and also we can have tools value formula show cell for example and then so in the cell if you want formula or view value if i go to value and exit and exit now this doesn't show here even though we have formula but it shows the number now let's change it back 
show cell let's change it to formula and exit now it shows the formula and the same way we have recalculate which I've just shown you let's turn it on button that's for the first time I turned it on so what can you do with this calculator with this calculator you can do all basic calculation so you can do statistical calculation you can do distribution we can do uh, polynomial such as quadratic cubic and quartic up to degree four calculation simultaneous